Okay, so this is just for practice sake. This is not, um, it's, it's graded based on application. In other words, whether you do it or not. Um, and it will also have a little bit of communications too as well. See that you're um, being able to display what you've learned. Uh, you're gonna get feedback from me and then you will be graded on with your uh, unit um, assignment for this one. So go to the view and then do top down view. And I hold down the middle scroll button and that does 360 or I can, well, I guess I can't, I have to go to the hand feature is down here yeah the hand the left click grab it okay a little over here somewhere I'll go back to view I think my vo volume is really low so okay so anyway I'm gonna pull it over and I'm gonna take my rectangle tool over here I'm gonna left click once and, and let go if I don't touch anything I can drag it and I'm gonna make this a 16 foot if you look down on the right down here the dimensions right you just type in one six foot comma by ten foot enter there's my deck okay and from here you know this can be just like the deck area on the bottom all right now the next thing you're going to do is your your measuring tool now the measuring tool is more like a guideline. If you if you put it down here, it will measure the distance, and you can see that it's well right on that it was ten feet. If you put it here in the middle, you see you get a guideline. Well, I want to my posts don't have to be right on the outside. My posts can be somewhere in the middle here, um, not middle, but two feet is usually the, the general rule. So I'll have a two foot, and it's called a guideline. So two foot. Enter. Okay, and these can be erased after. These aren't actually in the design. They're just helping you uh, align it. And this one here, again, two foot. Enter. And I go from here, two foot. Two foot. There. So, what you have is pull this over you've got a deck that you're going to put a post here post here post here and a post here for now okay i'll explain the rules afterwards you can't have a span more than eight feet and you can't have a cantilever more than two feet which we don't have so what the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take your circle tool Zoom in on your thing. You're gonna push this, and I think it's it should be an eight, a minimum of an eight-inch post. So we're, we're gonna say, yeah, we'll say eight inch inches uh, quotations. Sure. Okay. Eight. Oh. Okay. Eight. And the last one. Eight. Fingers. Okay, so there I have my four posts. And if I look at it, still nothing 3D yet. I can get rid of my guidelines now. Okay. Now, if you do the calculations, if this is 16 feet, and we've taken off two feet here, and two feet here. That means the span is 14 feet. We would technically need another row of columns or piers in between here to, uh, because that's too big of a span. Uh, the deck would, would very be flex a lot. It wouldn't be sturdy. Uh, but we're just doing this for playtime for right now. So then you're going to go over to this push pull. And give yourself a bit of an angle. And we're going to go to left click once, pull up, and type in six inches. All have to be the same. Nope. Don't do that. Six. 
the posts are or the piers aren't same height and your beams won't carry anything it'll be or your deck will be a lot sided okay so there you have it okay you got four posts um, next thing I'm gonna do is show you how to make them components so that you don't mess around with it